Hi everyone, welcome back for more Let's Play Professor Layton and Diabolical Vox. So let's go to where we need to go to now. <sighs> and let's see. And now that we're near the museum, another slight sidetrack. The fountain has a puzzle. That's quite the fountain they have here. It sure is. Actually, it reminds me of a really great puzzle about a fountain. Shall I tell it to you? Number 90, the unusual fountain, worth 20 points. So Luke comes up with the weakest puzzle we've had in a long time. The fountain shown below has the unusual ability to indicate the age of those who draw near it. For example, if a five-year-old child were to approach, the fountain would fire off water from bouts A, B, C, D, and E in that order. For age 15, the middle spout would fire, and then be followed by spouts A through E. For someone age 30, the middle spout would fire off three times. Given the fountain's method of indicating age, there's one utterly useless spout in the fountain. Find and circle the spout. Oh. If you figure out what the middle fountain is signifying here, it's signifying the tens. So, you know, for the five, we'd have one, two, three, four, five. For the 15 year old, we had 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 15, and for the 30 year old, 10, 20, 30. Given that, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 that J is completely useless because its purpose is duplicated right there. This should do the trick. Huh. <clears throat> Wonderful. The way you tear through puzzles never fails to amaze me. And we're done with that. And we need to talk to you. The name's Gregorio, and I love chess like mice love fancy cheese. Yeah, we, we met you already. If you can solve this little chess puzzle I've set up, I'll tell you what I know about full sense. Again? That sounds fair. Show me what you got. Number 107, the Knight's Tour 2. Worth 50 points. Lead the knight on the trip around the board below. Chess knights move two squares forward and one square perpendicular on each turn. The initial direction can be up, down, left, or right. Move this knight around the entire board, landing on each square only once. Well, let's see if I can do this, shall we? Well, let me go here. Okay, I have to go here. Get in here. Over here. Right there. And now we need to kind of do this. And back this way. And up. And over here. And there. Down. Over here. Maybe you can see kind of the pattern we need to go for to do this. And yeah, I need to do up here, don't I? Okay, which one's next? So this one over here. Then I go down. And notice I still have choices everywhere here. Consider this puzzle solved. That one's annoying just because you can make so many different huh. ways to get to this, you know. You have so many different choices you have to turn. Once you figure it out, you have to keep going. If you don't figure it out in the first one, you've still got like five or six ways you can go anywhere. Sharp thinking, sonny boy. Real sharp. Now what was I going to say? Oh yeah, the Herzens. Way back when, Herzen Castle used to be quite the hot spot. The rich folks would throw balls there. Now though, no one will go near the place. The castle's supposedly got a vampire living in it. But I wouldn't give for things to go back to the way they were. And new diary key. 
New diary key means we get to read diary. Which is almost completely unlocked here. We're two thirds of the way done. Oh, this wretched life of mine! The girl I loved and to whom I was betrothed has abandoned me and fled full since. Did all that awful talk of curses scare her off? Or did she truly leave me to be with someone else she loves? Either way, her betrayal cuts me to the core. I trusted her, and now I'm lost. Where do I go from here? What's left for me? And that's kinda sad. Just a little, you know? I mean, just, just a tiny bit sad there. But we're not done with even him yet. The name's Gregorio, and I love chess like babies love smooshing food onto their faces. We can conversate if you want, but first you'll have to solve this chess puzzle of mine. Fair enough. Let's get to it. Number 108. The knight's two or three. We're 70 points. Lead the knight on a trip around the board below. As same as we just did. So... Let's see, I just want to make sure I don't mess this up. Okay, yeah, I need to corner, don't I? And we go back, we get that corner. And not many choices we have there, huh? And we go out. There we go. This should do the trick. A true gentleman leaves no puzzle unsolved. Not much to say there, is there? That's quite the thinking gap you got there. I'm so impressed, I'm gonna let you on in the secret that no one else in town would spill in a hundred years. A few years back, an awful thing happened here in town. People in full sense just started dropping left and right, like they were under some terrible spell. Did anyone discover the source of this strange malady? I wish I could say yes, but it's still a mystery to us. What I do recall is that many fled the town once word of the illness got around. But that's as much as I care to speak on this topic. You've solved all my puzzles, and I'm tired. You may be tired, but I think a good cup of tea would rejuvenate you. One second. So let's give you that tea, shall we? <clears throat> oh my, so very thirsty. Are you alright, sir? To be honest, I've been better, sonny boy. The name's Gregorio, and I love chess like pigs live, love mud. I've been standing all here all day pondering my next move, and, well, it's pretty brutal work. Would a cup of tea help that thirst of yours? That'd be mighty kind of you, sonny boy. I'll see what I can make. Once you're refreshed, thinking up your next move should be much easier. Something sweet and smoky that'll take care of the dry throat. Well, I mean, yeah, you could just have uh, sugar smoke there, but that wouldn't help because he needs thirst quenching. The quencher. Smoke and sweet, but quenches thirst. Checkmate. Gregorio seems refreshed and ready to make his next move. Ah, now that's a refreshing cup of tea. Of course, I'll just move my knight over to A5. See, a little tea can work wonders. You've already found your next move. As my way of saying thanks, here's a little factoid for you, Sonny. In the Herzen Museum, 
You can fight books with the, tres with the chess strategies used by aristocrats of the past. The peculiar thing is that no new strategies have been developed in the last 50 years. It's almost like time has stopped. Hmm, that is kind of odd, isn't it? Well, let's go in here. It's been a while since we've seen a fully new screen, so of course, you know what that means. One... And one here. And... okay, which one of you is it? There it is. And now we need to talk to you, now that we've found all the hidden coins here. Welcome, friends. I'm Gringo, and I'm the curator of the Herzen Museum. We have an extensive collection of artifacts pertaining to the history of this town and the Herzen family. Sammy told me all about you two. I hope you find our resources helpful to your search. Please, feel free to peruse the collection to your heart's content. So we get to take a look around. And let's start by looking around, shall we? Professor, take a look at this case of knickknacks. These appear to be common household items owned by the Herzen family. Some of them look positively ancient. Quite. The Herzen family clearly has a long and rich family history. And... yep. I guess that's, that's one impressive statue. I guess that must be Duke Herzen, huh? This entire museum appears to be dedicated to celebrating his achievements, so I'd have to agree. But wait a second, I thought Mr. Beluga owns this place. Yes, I believe that's the case. Isn't it funny that he built this whole place to honor his father? Maybe he's not so bad after all. And that's all for this area. For now. Because later, you will want tea. But we'll deal with that, because we have something to do over here first. And the first thing we get to do, besides getting pointed out that there's a hint coin right there, let's go ahead and get the rest of the hint coin, shall we? Oh, let's see. Yeah, we got that one. Hmm. Oh, where is it? Hmm. Here's that. That's not it. This place sure has a lot of stuff. Do you suppose this is a picture of the late Duke? I believe so, yes. The old Duke Curzon died a while back and left behind a massive fortune. If he's gone, who is this vampire the whole town's talking about? Sammy mentioned that Mr. Beluga had an older brother here. I'd say he's likely the man at the heart of all this talk. But if he's Mr. Beluga's older brother, he would have to be old and feeble by now. I thought vampires didn't age. Hmm. Okay, let's see. There it is. There's the other hint coin. So now let's take that picture. Picture number four, the second floor of the museum. And we all know the drill by now. Let's see, I found hint coin here. And obviously, yep, there's something strange about that map. Hmm. Let's see if this works. Layton's apprentice strikes again. And then over here, oh, the cuffs on that jacket. The right there it's gone here goes that was almost too easy and then hmm ah right here it's missing a picture and now to test my theory Huh, wonderful. 
And now there's a puzzle right here. Where I thought there was a hint coin. Now that's a puzzle. Cool, I found a hidden puzzle. Number 95, box of books, worth 30 points. The box shown below has a height, width, and depth of 30 inches. Within this box, you'd like to place as many books as possible. Each book is 20 inches wide by 20 inches long by 10 inches thick. How many books can you pack into this box? Books can only placed in, be placed into the box in the closed position, but you can position each book however you like. Sorry, folks. Did not mean to do that. Okay. Simple. This should be actually pretty simple to figure out, huh? Well, let's see. 30 by 30 by 30 is... 30 by 30 is... 30... Yeah. 9... Hundred thirty one two three twenty seven. Okay, so what's twenty by twenty is four hundred times ten is four thousand, and four thousand goes into twenty seven thousand six times. Consider this puzzle solved. Easy Our enough. Gentleman leaves no puzzle unsolved. That one was a tough one. And with that tough one out of the way, it is time to cut the video. When we return, we will have another few words about, you know, we have another few words with the guy in the other room, Mr. Greenco. Take care, folks. See you later.